Good morning, Girl Scouts of Greater South Texas. My name is Casey, and I'm so excited for you to join us on our virtual fun. First things first, we're gonna start with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. So what you're gonna need to do is raise your right hand, put your pinky down and your thumb over your pinky, and we are going to say the Girl Scout Promise. If you don't know the Girl Scout Promise, you can just repeat after me, but if you do know it, definitely say it with me. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Now we're going to say the Girl Scout law. And again, if you don't know the Girl Scout law, you can just repeat after me. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do. And to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. All right, ladies, let's get started and have some fun. This week's focus is going to be space science. So a scientist is somebody who studies and researches and observes things. And of course, space is everything that's in the sky. So stars, planets, the sun, the moon, everything that we see up in that big old sky is what we're going to be studying today in our space science badges. So what we're going to focus on is the planets. Did y'all know there's eight planets in the solar system? And each one is special and unique and different, just like you are. So we're gonna go through those and then we're gonna do a really cool activity. So the supplies you're gonna need for today is a piece of paper, and you're gonna need your little Play-Doh or clay, whatever you have, and then of course something to write with. But we're gonna use those a little later. First, let's meet the planets. So time to meet our planets. So the first planet in our solar system is the planet Mercury. And Mercury is the smallest little planet you've ever seen. It is the smallest planet and it's actually really icy and cold, even though it is the closest to the sun. So that's Mercury. Then we have Venus, which is the second planet in our solar system. And Venus, even though it's not closest to the sun, it is actually the hottest planet because it has um, a gassy atmosphere. So it traps all the heat. So even though Mercury is closer to the sun, Venus is actually the hottest planet in our solar system. And it is actually called the sister planet to our next planet, which is Earth. Woo, that's where we live. So Earth is the third planet closest to the sun. And it is a special planet because it is the only planet that can sustain life. And 70% of the planet is covered in water. So our planet is super duper special and it's nicknamed the blue planet as well because of the water. The fourth planet from our solar system is Mars. So Mars is red, which is really awesome. And a lot of people think the reason why it's red is because it's hot, but it's actually because it is covered in iron, uh, which is like a rust. So if you've ever seen something left outside for a long time and it gets all rusty, dusty, that's what Mars is covered in. It's covered in this rust. Um, so it's a rusty, dusty planet. That's the fourth planet in our solar system. Our fifth planet is this big old planet, Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. And what's really cool about Jupiter is you'll notice there's a big old great red spot. That's actually a hurricane. So there's a hurricane on the planet Jupiter the size of Earth. Can you imagine living on a planet that has a hurricane going 24 seven? Pretty crazy. Next planet is the planet Saturn. It's the only planet that has rings like this. It has icy rings and they go around the planet. It's a really nice one. These are just drawings. You should definitely look up a picture of Saturn. It's so cool. So it's a very special planet. It's got rings right there. Then we have the planet Uranus. And Uranus is a really cool planet because it actually rotates on its side. Um, they call it the sideways planet because scientists believe that a long time ago, something the size of Earth hit Uranus on its side and caused it to tilt. So all the other planets rotate just straight forward. This one tilts and rotates on its side. So that's pretty cool about this planet. And the last planet in our solar system, and it's the furthest from the sun, is Neptune. Neptune is my favorite planet because it's a beautiful blue and it is the coldest planet in our solar system. So those are all eight of our planets 
And what we're going to do today is we're going to be making a scale model using the Play-Doh. So you're going to get to see what these planets actually look like and how they compare in size. All right, let's start our activity. So first things first, you're gonna need your white piece of paper. And before we do our scale model, we're going to have to write the names of the planets. So that way when we have our Play-Doh, we can place it on the spots. Um, so first I'm going to write the first letter of every planet. That way we'll have all eight. So we have Mercury, we have Venus, we have Earth, we have Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now I know it's kind of hard to remember all the names of the planets, so what you can do is use what's called a mnemonic device. And that's just a really complicated name for a fun idea. So it's a way to help you kind of remember something. So for example, this is a mnemonic device to remember the planets. My very excited mother just served us noodles. And so you'll see that each letter is highlighted and that is because that's the first letter of every planet. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So this sentence helps you remember the planets in order. And if you don't like noodles, you can always swap it out for nachos, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with our scale model. So what you're gonna need first is your Play-Doh and you're gonna have to roll it up. So what we're gonna be doing with this Play-Doh is we're gonna be splitting it and we're going to be using this Play-Doh to make all eight planets. And you're gonna notice that some of the planets get a little more Play-Doh than others. So the first step is you're going to split your Play-Doh into four equal parts. So I'm gonna split this up. All right, I love Play-Doh, it's so much fun. Make sure you try to do this over the paper so that way you don't have Play-Doh all over the place because I know it can get everywhere. All right, and you wanna try to make sure that these four parts are as equal as you can make them. All right, so you should have four little wads of Play-Doh. So the first step is you're going to take two of these and you're going to put them together, mash them together, and you're gonna make a big ball. All right. So this is going to be the planet Jupiter. So Jupiter is a very large planet. Remember, it's the largest planet in our solar system. So it takes up half of the Play-Doh. So now we have these two pieces. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of the pieces right here, so I'll take this one. And you're gonna place that where Saturn is. So Saturn is the second largest planet, so it takes up another big chunk of your Play-Doh. So you see this last little piece we have here, this is going to make the other planet. So we're gonna have to make all of the other planets out of this one piece of Play-Doh. So you, that's just showing you just how large these two planets, Jupiter and Saturn are. So you're gonna take your last little piece right here and you're gonna split this into four pieces. So I'm gonna split that. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So we have four right here. All right. So you're gonna take one of these pieces, I have that piece, and you're gonna add it onto Saturn because again, Saturn is the second largest planet so it's gonna get quite a bit of Play-Doh. Then you're going to take another piece and you're gonna put it on the planet Uranus right over here okay and you're gonna take another piece and you're gonna place that on the planet Neptune so we already have Uranus and Neptune right here and so we have one small piece of play-doh left and we're gonna have to split this piece into four pieces so we're gonna take that and split it into four you're noticing that the planets are gonna get smaller and smaller. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of these pieces, and I would pick one of the larger ones. So see, this one is a little larger than the others. And you're gonna split that in half, and you're going to give a little bit to Uranus and a little bit to Neptune. So they get a little bit more. 
you are going to take one piece and you're gonna give it to Saturn. Again, Saturn gets a little bit more. And don't worry if they're starting to look like snowmen, we're gonna roll these into little balls um, at the end. So that's Saturn. And you're going to take another piece and give it to Uranus. So Uranus is a little bit larger than Neptune. So we have one more piece and you're gonna split this into four pieces. So it's gonna get a little harder and harder to split them up. So try your best to make four little pieces out of this. All right, one, two, three, four. So you have four. So we're gonna take one of these pieces and give it to Earth, yay! Earth finally gets a little bit. You're gonna take another piece and you're gonna give that to Venus right here. And you're gonna take this piece and give it to Saturn, because again, Saturn is the second largest planet. So it gets quite a lot of the Play-Doh. And this last teeny tiny itty bitty little piece, we're gonna split it one more time. It's gonna be really tricky, but I think we can do it. Let's see. We have one, two, let's see, three and four. All right. So if you do this right, you're probably not gonna have a lot of Play-Doh left. Um, I'm gonna try to make this one a little bit bigger. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one piece and give a little more to Earth. You're gonna take two of the pieces and mash those together. And that's gonna be Mars, because Mars is small. And this last teeny little piece right here that is the planet Mercury. So remember I said Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. This is gonna show you just how small it is. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. Let's mash up Saturn so we can make that a little more like a ball. So let's smash that together. So that's Saturn. Then you have Uranus right here. Smash that together. And then we have Neptune. There we go. So that is your scale model. And what I like to do is I like to kind of see the planets in comparison. So this is Jupiter and this is Mercury. So look how small Mercury is in comparison to the planet Jupiter. And you'll notice um, that Venus and Earth, they're very close in size. Remember I had mentioned that they're called sister planets because they are very close in size. So that's Venus and Earth. And then you'll notice that Uranus and Neptune are also about the same uh, in size. So if you follow the steps, you'll have a very good look at what the planets will look like in comparison to each other. So this is what a scale model is supposed to do. It's supposed to be able to show you the different sizes. So we just finished our first step for our space science badges. I just hope you had fun and you were able to see what a scale model of the solar system looks like. So what's your favorite planet? I definitely encourage you to try looking up a fact about your favorite planet. Look up some pictures um, and see what makes that planet special. So definitely tune in tomorrow for another fun space adventure. So long sisters.